man, I almost don't want to give you a review on another pair of airships only because I fear that if the popularity starts to rise for these, that Nike and Jordan brand may want to start raising prices because at that $140 price point, the quality we're getting on this shoe is unmatched from anything else that they're actually putting out. That being said, we're going to give these the unboxing treatment on the channel. Let's talk about them. What is going on YouTube? It's Source of the Way Kick Channel. We are back again with a special unboxing today of these guys right here. But before we get into that, please smash that like button for me as I always ask. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Hit that subscriber button. Click that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I drop one of these videos. And if this is not the first time you've seen one of my videos, but you have yet to subscribe, come on and join what it is we have going on over here. Because once we do hit that thousand subscriber milestone, I will be doing a special sneaker giveaway for the channel. So you're definitely going to want to be tuned in for that. In any case, let's go ahead and unbox these bad boys right here. All right, as we always do on this channel, the first thing we got to do is take a look at this box. And here we have an all black box. And then the Nike and the swoosh is actually glossed out in black as well. And man, I do really like the way this box turned out. It's really nice to look at. And they actually glossed out the Nike and swoosh all over. But let me go ahead and read out this label to you. And it says here, Jordan Airship PESP. And it's color blocking reads Summit White Gunsmoke. And here you can go ahead and take a quick look at the label. Pause the video if need be. But let's go ahead and pop open this lid and take a look at what we have here inside now what's always pretty standard we're getting these airship shoes is the little airship booklet that we get in here and i've said in a bunch of other videos that i really like this little touch that jordan brand and nike gave us with this booklet i really feel like we should get more of these kind of things with our kicks especially with the fact that they're raising prices you got to give us a little more than just the shoes but let me go ahead and pull one of these out and here you go. You have the Jordan Airship PEs. Now, on the, most of the websites, they label these as Tech Grays, but the box obviously said Gunsmoke. So I don't really know what the discrepancy really is about, but it doesn't even matter. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features and characteristics of this particular pair. And here you have all white leather all over the shoe itself. And then when you go around here to the collar and the swoosh, we have this gray suede and it's really nice and soft and really hairy suede there. Let me go ahead and give you an up close look. And then you can also see embroidered there in a little darker gray, they put Nike Air on the back. Now, this is a different than the other two uh, PE airships that I actually reviewed for you to where it wrote every game on the back instead of this Nike Air on the back. So it is somewhat part of that you know player exclusive but not necessarily part of the every game pack in any case going around here i actually went ahead and laced up the white laces that come pre-laced in both of the shoes and here the tongue you actually have that age coloring here on the tongue and then taking a look at the tongue tag it actually matches the color blocking of the gray that's on the shoe and then taking a look here in the sock liner let me give you a look at that now you do have somewhat of a darker gray sock liner and then looking down there on the insole foot pad you have a white foot pad with the gray jump net and then also a touch that i really like is the fact that they put the actual size of the shoe on the inside of the collar that's actually something old that they used to do so i think it's really cool that they're giving it to us again and it used to come a lot on the older Jordan 1s. But going and looking at the outsole and the midsole here, midsole, we just have a white midsole. There's no aging to that, but the outsole itself is that dark gray outsole. And just the overall look of the shoe and the quality of it. And let me tell you something else, see? The smell of the leather. This smells like a leather coat. I mean, they really did their thing as far as the leather they put on here. And the fact that the price point on these is $140. I mean, I have to tell you that this quality is a lot better than some of the Jordan 1s we've been getting at $180. So that's something to think about. But remember, these are the ones before the ones. This was the shoe that Jordan actually started out wearing when he played for the Bulls after signing with Nike because they did not actually have enough Jordan 1 available for him to wear initially starting out. So the airships is what it is he started wearing. And the airships 
but that black and red color blocking is what actually got banned, not the Jordan 1s. But in any case, moving on, I went ahead and threw the laces, the extra set of laces that come here with the shoe and he comes in a bag actually, not the box that we've been getting with like the Jordan 1s with the extra set of laces. But I really like the way the gray laces look in here versus the white ones. And go ahead and take a look here at both shoes with each set of laces in them. And you let me know what you think is a lot better, the white or the gray. Me personally, as I said, I definitely like the gray a lot better. And man, let me tell you, these are something that I think at some point, the word's gonna get out about these because they're growing as far as popularity is concerned. And just looking at what the pulse is through Twitter and the way people are talking about them, people are really starting to take notice of the airships. Now, I know we're supposed to be getting some collaborations later on this year using the airship silhouette. So that's something else to look out for. But I know in 2024, we're gonna be getting a lot more airships to us so you know nike and jordan brand are really going to start pushing out these and i think i think that these might end up catching fire there are a couple airships out there like for example the amamanier collabs that actually command a pretty penny as far as resale is concerned on the secondary market but a lot of that had to do with the fact that they were super super limited but these here in particular, I think at some point, people are gonna catch on to the quality and what it is we're getting at a much, much cheaper price point than most of your Jordan ones or most of your Jordan sneakers out there anyhow. You know what I mean? So that is just something to think about moving forward. Now, if you don't like the silhouette, you don't like the silhouette. It is what it is. But, but, I'm telling you now, don't, don't be too surprised if these actually start to catch a little bit of fire and start to command some money on that resale market. All right, so I gave you an in-hand review. I gave you some off-feet looks. Let me know what you think in the comments about these Jordan Airship PE Tech Grays. To me, this is definitely a high quality sneaker that we got for a low, low price. In any case, this is Lewis of the Wear Your Kicks channel reminding you that every day is a great day to wear your kicks.